Hi, welcome back. Lovely to see you. Today we're going to look at some healthy hip function and movement. Um, so make sure you're wearing something nice and comfortable to move in and we are starting on the floor. We're going to add in today um, an overball, so a squishy Pilates ball and a TheraBand if you have one available. Okay, um, if you don't have um, either one of these, don't worry, you could use um, a plump cushion your sofa or a rolled up towel um, and maybe um, just a strip of pipe um, for the band. Um, you don't need it for much so you can always do the movements without if you haven't got one. All right okay come with me we're going to start on the floor in our relaxation position. Take a slightly jaunty angle. Start off with this morning. Settle yourself into a nice neutral position here. Hands on those hip bones. Check the level left and right. Let's take a nice steady pelvic tilt back, sending the lumbar spine into the mat and then controlling that movement and just arching that lumbar spine a little bit away from the mat. All right, so taking a little imprint, rolling the pelvis back and then arching forward. Okay, and then we'll settle ourselves into neutral, pubic bone in line with those hip bones. Okay, find a little bit of center here. And we're gonna start with our knee drop today. So as we breathe out, we're gonna send one knee just out to the side, rolling onto the outer edge of that foot. All right, keeping the pelvis nice and still, we breathe in, we return that knee, and then we breathe out and we send the other knee out to the side. Breathing in to return. And the focus here is on keeping the spine and the pelvis completely still as we find this nice mobility just in the hip joint, nowhere else. So you need a little bit of centering, nothing too wild here, just to stabilize across um, the pelvis and into the spine. And we are finding a nice range of movement in the hip joints. Let's do one more just like this. Trying to increase that range of movement if you can without letting the hips shift one way or the other. And then I want you to just straighten your right leg away from you down the mat, all right? Checking we haven't lost neutral in pelvis and spine here. And we're gonna do the same movement. So on that left knee, we're gonna take it out to the side, keeping those hips nice and still. And feel free to have your hands on your hip bones, yes, to give yourself a bit of feedback. And then we're going to take the knee across the midline of the body towards that right thigh. And then we're going to lift it up. Breathing out, we take that left knee out to the side. Breathing in, come back to centre. Breathing out, take the knee across the midline. All right, let's do two more just like that. Breathing out, take the knee out. Increase that range of movement. Stay as neutral as you can. Breathe into centre. Breathing out, come across the midline of the body. And last one here, knee drop, breathing in, bring it back, breathing out, bring it across that midline of the body, return, slide the right leg in and take the left leg long and away from you. And we do the same thing here, taking that right knee out to the side, trying to keep the hips still and level and centered. Breathe in, return, breathing out, take it across the midline of the body. All right, and you may feel like that movement is slightly blocked. And you're just gonna encourage that range of movement each time. Trying to keep the hips nice and level and the pelvis um, neutral. Okay, two more here, knee drop. And then across the midline. And last one here, out to the side. And then bring that knee back in and across the midline of the body, well done. Slide that left leg back in, find that neutral again, turn sideways on P now. And we're going to bring it into some knee folds from here. So again, nice and simple. Check your alignment, check your neutral, find your centering. Okay, and as you breathe out, we're just going to find hip flexion as we stabilize through pelvis and spine. Take a breath in here and you'll return that foot to the floor and change sides, single knee folds. All right, breathe in, hold, breathing out to return. So we can work in singles, alternating legs, or for a little bit more challenge, you can bring that second knee up and in. All right, I want you to really focus today on keeping the spine and the pelvis really still. All the movement is happening within the hip joints, yeah, nowhere else. Dial up 
that abdominal connection if you need a little bit more support to make sure the lumbar spine isn't affected by the movement. Okay, we don't want any gripping in the shoulders, so try to leave the upper body nice and relaxed. And we're gonna go for one more set. Try and alternate the lead leg each time if you're coming up into that double knee fold. All right, bring that second knee up, well done. And then return the first foot and the second foot to the floor, nicely done. Take your over ball or your soft cushion, plump cushion, and place that between your knees now. Okay, feet stay on the floor, hands behind the head, elbows in peripheral vision. All right, we're staying neutral through that spine, uh, through the pelvis, sorry. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck, and we curl the upper body up bone by bone, just through the thoracic spine. So I can just feel the tips of my shoulder blades just dusting the mat there. Pelvis is neutral, center switched on. And then I'm gonna breathe in as bone by bone, I bring the spine all the way back down to the mat. All right, take a breath in here. And as you breathe out once again, tuck the chin. We'll start to curl the upper body up bone by bone. Keep the pelvis nice and still, nothing should be changing here. Drawing that belly button down towards your spine and then lengthen it all the way back down. Keep the ball just squeezing between the knees. So you've got a nice inner thigh connection and that's helping to find your center as you curl up again. Squeeze that ball, the neutral pelvis, and then lengthen the spine all the way back down. One more just like this. And then we're gonna add in a little leg reach, all right? So curling back up, pause, squeeze that ball, lengthen the upper body down. All right, layering in now. If you don't like the layers, guys, just miss out and stick with this curl up. All right, so we come up into that curl up, pause, hold it there. Find your centering, yes? Draw that navel down towards your spine. Squeeze the ball between the knees and straighten one leg out just at the knee. So thigh bone stays still, the knee joint is lengthening, okay? And then we're gonna bend the knee, Keeping that ball between the knees, the thigh as still as you can. And then we'll change sides. Stay centered. You might need to readjust the centering here. And then thigh stays still. We straighten one leg out. Try not to drop the hips. Look to the pelvis. Check we're staying neutral. And then we bend that leg back in and lengthen the spine all the way back down. Two more just like that, guys. If you don't like the leg add on, just stick with the curl up. Yes, you can adjust. Find your centering. Lead with the other leg this time. As the thigh bone stays still, so nothing's moving in the hip, we're straightening the knee. And then we bend the knee. And then we'll take it onto the other side, stay centered, straighten that leg. Good, keep that curl up, keep the belly button drawing back down towards your spine. And lengthen it all the way back out. Take a breath in, breathing out, last one, curling up. Find that central connection. And then we straighten one leg. Good, keep the pelvis nice and still. Make sure one hip's not dropping. Yes, as you lift the foot away from the floor, find your center, take the other leg away. Thighs stay level and still as much as you can. Keep squeezing the ball and then bring the spine all the way back down to the mat. Well done. If you need to just hug your knees in, do so and open out that lumbar spine. Right, and then we'll bring the feet back down to the floor. We'll keep the ball in between the knees and we'll add in a little bit of resistance through the arms if you want to, okay? If you haven't got a band, just miss it out, keep your arms by your side or you can do the movement with the arms without the band. All right, so we're thinking about keeping neutral spine to start off with here. Okay, we're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling, all right, sending the hips high, squeezing that ball between the knees, and we're gonna pull wide on the band once we're up at the top. All right, we'll release the band back towards the ceiling, and bone by bone, we'll bring that spine all the way back down to neutral. All right, ready to find center. Okay, hinge straight up into that bridge position. Pull wide with the arms. And then we'll release the arms and then bone by bone, we'll bring the spine back down. All right, softening through the rib cage, through the mid back, through the lumbar spine, all the way back down to neutral. All right, we'll do one more just like that. Bridge up. Send those hips nice and high. Pull wide on the back. 
All right, let's keep pulling on the band now as we bring the spine down. Keep those arms wide, tension on the band. Find every bone through your spine. Stay centered, drawing yourself back down to neutral. And once you're back into neutral, we will release the tension on the band. I think we can do one more, don't you? That doesn't feel like enough nice articulation of the spine. Let's go once more, bridge up. Pull those arms wide. Leave the arms wide as bone by bone. You bring that spine all the way back down to the mat. Release the arms. Well done. All right, put the band to one side. I put the ball to one side and you're going to come over onto one side. All right, feet are coming in line with your bottom. Arm reaching up the mat. Head just resting on your arm. Or you can put a little head cushion in there or a folded towel. Okay, we're hip over hip, we're shoulder over shoulder. We've got a little bit of lift in our waist, okay? We're centered. I want you to feel for your rib cage and make sure you're well lined up in this position so you can be neutral in your spine. All right, keep your feet glued together. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna lift the top knee. Breathing in to lower it down, all right? Hips stay still, we stay centered. Breathing out, lift. Breathing in to lower. Breathing out to lift and into lower. So this is a bit like the knee drop we did at the beginning of this session. Yes, taking the knee out to the side and then back into the midline of the body. All right, we're keeping everything else still through the spine. We're staying centered. So the movement is really just in the hip joints. Okay, two more here. And last one. From here, keep that knee high. I want you to lift the foot, rotate the knee, tap the knee to the other knee, all right? And then lift the knee back up and tap the foot back to the foot. So we're gonna go knee to knee and foot to foot. We call it our dancing oyster. Yeah, so we dance that knee round. We find internal and external rotation at the hip. So medial rotation and lateral rotation. We try and keep the pelvis nice and still and the spine unaffected by the movement. So that top hand on your top hip can give you a bit of feedback, yeah, as to what's going on there. And I want you to try and keep it completely still, your pelvis, so we're not rolling forward or back. And the movement, again, is in that hip joint. Nice, healthy hips. All right, last two here. And on this last one, you're gonna bring those feet together, lead that thigh bone up towards the ceiling. Okay, so we're in that oyster position. I'm just gonna rest um, my top hand on the outside of my thigh there. Again, I'm gonna now stabilize the thighs, all right? So I don't want my thigh bone to move. I'm just gonna straighten my knee. I'm gonna breathe in to bend it. Back in foot to foot, just breathing out to straighten the leg. Breathing in to bend. Good, two more here. Straighten that leg and bend the thigh, stay stacked. Try not to drop that thigh in space. Yes, one for luck coming up. Straighten that leg. All right, and bend it back in, lower it down. Give that a little rub. You can always increase the repetitions if you have more time. All right, push yourself up. And just come onto your sit bones before we go over to the other side. Soles of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall. Let's just cross the arms over the chest. All right. And from here, we're going to take a rotation. So we're going to breathe out and just rotate head, neck, upper back, round to look behind you. Breathing, come back to center. Breathing out, take it the other way. Breathing, come back to center. All right. For a little bit more challenge, we can take the arms wide, just having the hands in peripheral vision. And we can do the same here. Right, breathe into center, breathing out, rotate head, neck, upper back, round. Breathe into center. One more in each direction, guys. Rotate. Breathe in center. Keep pushing the soles of those feet together. Breathe in and center. Well done. All right, we take it into a little bit of side flexion here. One arm reaches up by your ear. As you breathe out, you're just going to come over to the side, reach that top arm up. Good. Now, from here, we're just going to rotate forward and reach that arm just diagonally forward a little bit. Find a little bit of rotation and flexion in there with control. Keep the tummy switched on. Open that back out into your side flexion and restack the spine back up or change sides. All right, lift that arm up over to one side into your side flexion and then with control, just rotate the shoulders towards the floor. Diagonally reach that arm along and breathe there. 
And as you breathe out, just unravel and bring yourself around into that side flexion and lift up. Well done. We're coming onto the other side for our um, twister on the other side. Okay, so line your feet up, your bottom. One arm just goes up from your hip and comes down there. Got a little head cushion in me here, so I'm going to pop a head cushion in between my head and my arm, but you don't have to, okay, if you just won't lift your head on your arm if you prefer. All right, we're shoulder over shoulder, we're hip over hip. We've got that little bit of lift in our waist away from the mat. We want the rib cage to be pointing straight towards our pelvis. Yes, we're centered here. And as we breathe out, we're going to lift the top knee and breathe in to lower it down. All right, so we stabilize through the spine and the pelvis with our centering. All right, we move at the hip in this external rotation. All right, breathing in to lower, breathing out to lift. Good, in to lower, breathe out to lift. Go three more here, in to lower, out to lift into lower and out to lift hold it there lift the foot rotate the thigh bone in and then tap knee to knee lift it up rotate the thigh bone out tap foot to foot yeah knee to knee and foot to foot okay i don't want you to rush any of this today i want it to be nice and slow and considered precise movement what are we moving yeah we're moving the thigh bone in the hip joint we're finding some rotation we're trying to keep the spine and pelvis completely still, okay? We're targeting and, and working around into the glutes, so it's all good, <laughs> all right? And we want healthy hips, yeah, rotation. Let's do two more. And then on this next one, foot to foot, hold that thigh high. Take your hand onto the outside of that thigh. Keep contact between those two things. Try not to drop the knee. The thighs stay stacked one on top of the other. We're not moving the thigh bone. We're straightening the leg. Straighten the leg out. Good. And bend it back in. Try not to drop the thigh in space. And then off we go again. Straighten that leg and bend it. There's a slight external rotation at the hip here on that thigh bone. So the knee will be slightly pointing out, hopefully, as you straighten the leg, and that will bring your foot back to your other foot. Two more. Straighten that leg. Good. And bend it. Last one. And bend it back in. Well done, guys. Lower that down and give it a rub. And again, you can always increase the repetitions um, if you want to add a little bit more challenge. All right, from here, just come round into a rest position. Bring your feet together, take your knees wide and just push back into a rest position here. Reach the arms long, take a moment, take a breath. And then I want you to just relax shoulders and the elbows down a little bit. And now I want you to focus on sending your breath right into the back of the rib cage. All right. So breathing in here through your nose, send the air deep into your back. And breathe out and just release tension. And then again, big breath in. And breathing out. All right. Tuck the tailbone down. Restack the spine bone by bone all the way back up and that's this done for um today i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again very soon if you did enjoy it then please do uh, feel free to click subscribe on the channel all right <laughs> take care guys thanks for joining me i'll see you soon bye for now